Before we get into today's interview, we would like to give a shout out to our Patreons, Irene, Bev and Michael. If you haven't heard of Patreon before, it is a great way to support us and keep us running and improving. You pick a membership tier that suits you and your budget per month, and in return for supporting us, we'll give you behind the scenes content and free stuff. You don't have to give much either. You can be a part of our Patreons for as little as $4 a month. Just visit patreon.com forward slash rave it up. You can even donate through PayPal if you don't trust other sites. You can do so just through our email, raveituptv at gmail.com. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We appreciate anything you can do to support us. Now, let's get into this interview. Hey guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here. And today, we're going to be having a chat over Zoom with actress Angelica Johnson. You may remember SWAT actor Kenny Johnson on the show just recently. Well, Angelica is his daughter. She's only 12 years old, but has already achieved so much. You may remember her on the show SWAT with her dad in 2018 to 2020, playing Kelly, the girl with dyslexia, which Kenny's character, Dominique Luca, helps her with. So we have a talk to her about what it was like to be on the show with her dad, as well as talk about the 24 musicals that she has been in. Yes, 24. That's a lot for 12 years old, right? And also talk about what she's got planned for her future, what college she wants to go to, and whether she is writing her own project. There's so much to cover, so let's get into it now. Angelica, welcome to Rave It Up. It is a pleasure to have you on our show. How are you going today? Good. I'm doing good. Oh, I'm so glad you took the time, and thanks to your dad for teeing this up as well. <laughs> As you probably already know, I just had your dad on. I'm sure he's told you a little bit about our interview that we had a lot of fun. And we did speak about you for a little bit. So now it's your time to, I guess, talk about him. <laughs> just joking. Now, since this is your first time on our show, we can't wait to get to know you better and hear about your story and all that you've achieved at such a young age. You should be so proud of yourself. Congratulations. So for yeah. those who don't know, you're obviously the daughter of Kenny Johnson, but also your mum is an actress as well. So with having big parents like that, that are famous and they're actors themselves, does it get a little annoying to have famous parents? Just, shh, we, we won't tell no. them. <laughs> no. <laughs> it does I'm sure not. it's very helpful, isn't it? Very helpful, yes. Oh, that's no. good. <laughs> have they kind of given you any, I guess, advice moving forward and kind of learnt from them as you've been growing up watching them? Yeah, I, I mean, especially with my dad because he uh, helps me work on, like, if I ever get any scenes or scripts, he just helps me uh, learn through the process, which That's is nice. That's really nice. I really like that. So what do you think are the biggest lessons they've taught you with moving forward and, I guess, with the industry as well? Um... The biggest lesson, um, I think more to be yourself and tap into the character and um, also kind of like think of real life scenarios that kind of um, have to do with the character to yeah. tap. Yeah, uh, yeah that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good advice for all the uh, young actors wanting to get into the industry as well. <laughs> But with having both parents as actors, do you kind of think it was inevitable that you got into the field as well? Or have they kind of always wanted to steer you away from it because they know how hard it is? <laughs> no, no, not at all, actually. Um, to be honest, I wanted to be an actor and I still want to be an actor. But I mean, when I was um, five, I um, just, I think, came up and said that I wanted to be an actor and I don't know why I think uh, they really inspired me um, which is really nice um, and then I um, started getting into um, because we lived in Vancouver at that time so um, once we went back to LA I was uh, like kind of searching around um, I found a um, good one 
that was kind of right by our house and it was um, a musical theater class. And at that time I really um, was in love with the musical Into the Woods. So I just wanted to play Little Red Riding Hood all the time. I'd go around in a costume. Uh, and uh, ironically, they're actually doing that play at the, um, the, the place, Yada. Yada, at the place um, where I started musical theater lessons. And um, I was on a waiting list because I kind of came in late. I think they were doing auditions the next day. So they said, I can just do auditions and uh, I'm just uh, for the practice. Um, I might not get, I mean, I might not get in the play. I might not any of that, but I ended up getting Little Red. So um, congrats. That, that was nice. And that, that was, was the dream th- come true. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna jump in. I've never, I've never said anything about acting. And I always said, you know, wait till you're like 14 or 15. I go, you're like, she was like four and a half when she started demanding, like, I want to be an actress. And I was doing Bates Motel at this time in Vancouver. And I'm like, Angelica, I go, you're four and a half years old. You got your whole life. She goes, I want to act. And she goes, I want to play Little Red and Into the Woods. And I'm like, oh my God, Into the Woods. And I'm like, I don't even think they do that for like little children. I go, that's a little advanced because the movie had just come out. And she goes, no, I want to play Little Red. Find a place I can play Little Red. And I'm like, Vancouver had nothing. And so when we got back to after shooting, like she said, we found that place and um, we came in. They were closed. We left. Some girl walked up, said, can I help you? And I said, well, my daughter wants to act. And I know Yada, which is Youth Academy of Dramatic Arts, is where like Michael Chiklis sent his girls. And um, it's a good place to start and get familiar. And um, she said, come back at three o'clock. They're auditioning the last day of Into the Woods. And I'm like, oh, I go, the, how weird is that? Out of every play for kids, Makes the one she wants to do. So then they're like, but you know, there's a waiting list of 16 people when I came and they go first come first serve. So there's no way she's going to get it. And I'm like, okay. And they go, but if you want, she can, you know, try the audition process. It's like two hours long. And so she was in there for two hours, came back out. And then, you know, I said, thank you. And we walked down the stairs, we're walking down the street and they came running after us and said, listen, bring her back next week. She's going to be in the play. And I'm thinking like, Okay, you guys told me there's no way, but I'm like, all right, we'll bring her back next week. And they announced the parts, and she got the part she wanted, which yeah. was crazy. At four and so, a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you yeah. know, and she, like, is crazy, and everything is all on her own. I mean, she would, you know, well, I shouldn't say it, but yeah, she played make-believe for years with characters, and literally... Every, she, every day, I would uh, dress up in a costume. I barely had any um, of my normal clothes. clothes yeah i would always like always wanting around. to play characters yeah, yeah. like 100 degrees i'd be in like a whole costume. disney princess <laughs> outfit <laughs> I'm, like, I'm playing I'm, the character i'm not hot i mean i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's like elsa and frozen i'm i'm not yeah. i'm not cold I, I never cared i never cared at all that's beautiful. Four and a half is really young, though. So, have yeah. there been any other careers that you wanted to pursue as well, or is it just kind? Of, that's all you've ever known, obviously, with both your parents being actors. Yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to be an actor, like ever since I was four. I mean, I have a bunch of hobbies, like I, I sing, I dance, I kickbox with my dad. Ooh. Um, I um. I sketch, but like just for the fun of it. Mm. But um, I've always just She's really good artist, like super good drawing, <laughs> like amazing. See, like really good. I love the creative side of things, don't you? The creative arts. Yeah. So I've never been into but like sports like your dad was. <laughs> I mean, um, for the longest time when I was younger, I used to play uh, soccer, and then um, before we went in lockdown, I started playing volleyball. Nice. Volleyball is really fun. Other I like that, volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I, I uh, really play any sports. I mean, ever once in a while, I go to like the p- park with my dad to play uh, basketball or in our backyard since we have like a little or football or baseball. Football, I try to yeah. all the sports I like. <laughs> I didn't like any of them. Like, no. <laughs> so I'm like, you got to do like, what I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to do what your dad wants. <laughs> 
no, no. <laughs> we also know yeah. that this, you know, within this industry, you kind of need a bit of thick skin, as they kind of always say. So do any auditions or the rejection ever get you down or want you to you know, make you kind of want to give up or go do something easier? No. Actually, no. I just think of it as, like, I either get the part or I don't, and um, if I don't, then it's not meant to be. It's like, I, it doesn't really phase me that much. Oh, you're so mature for your age. I love that. That's exactly how you should view it, too. <laughs> So how do you find working in the industry with being so young? Do you find you do get treated a little differently because you are at such a young age? Not, not really. Yeah, I think it's all been great. Yeah. I, well, that's good. Touch wood, no, it stays like that. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Now, your dad did tell me in our interview as well, you've been in, what, 21 musicals now? That's a huge number. Fantastic. Uh, actually, maybe 24 or 22. 24. Oh, he was wrong. He forgot <laughs> three. <laughs> 24 musicals, though, at such a young age. What has been your favourite musical to be in? Was it Into the Woods, even though you were four and a half? <laughs> to be honest, I... Um, I, I think, um, my favorites, uh, my first favorite definitely was Into the Woods because, like, I just wanted to do that, uh, full on, and I ended up doing it, which was nice. Uh, I also liked Frozen. I played Elsa. That was about two years ago, maybe. Um. Wow, that's a big role. <laughs> and I also liked, uh, Cats. I played Grizabella. Yeah. Wow. That was oh, fun. She was so good. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Like You've got I a number one her, fan there, Angelica. <laughs> she was so good. I mean, she played Grizabel and got into the character and um, did so much work on it. And I brought the creator of Bates Motel to go watch her do it. And she, when she was singing Memories, she grabbed, the lady grabbed my leg and said, oh my God, she goes, she's so full of passion. Like, like oh. she was so good. It made me cry. I was like, oh my God. It was <laughs> cool to watch. Thank you. This is really cute that your dad is coming into the interview. Like, you guys remind me so much of me and my dad. That's like what my dad would do. <laughs> All right, I'm out there. <laughs> no, I like it, Kenny. It's funny. <laughs> so what is it about musicals that you love so much? Uh, I personally love musicals, but if there's anybody listening that is like, well, why has she been in so many? <laughs> um, I think musicals... They kind of um, bring in like my favorite uh, things to do, which is acting. I love also singing and dancing. So it's kind of like a mixture of three things mm. and uh, together. And it's actually really nice because um, it's just a fun thing to do, to be mm. honest. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just, so I'm guessing yeah. you prefer that be than being on screen. You prefer having that oh, live no. element. I love being on screen also, like b being on screen is great. Um, yeah, I love being on screen too. Like, I think that's one of, that's my favorite, I think. Um, just the experience and the acting a part of it and being able to act off of somebody else. It's just really nice. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're very different as well, both of them. Yeah, mm. because in, in musicals, uh, it, it was kind of hard because, like, since everybody was so young, it was, like, some people weren't really paying attention, and then, uh, but I feel like acting, I, we, uh, it was, like, very, um, challenging, but I could connect with the other person. Yeah, definitely. On screen, well, you're probably working with a lot more older people, so <laughs> they know what, what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They can learn a lot more as well. Do you ever, like, freeze on stage as well or just before you go on stage from nerves or anything? And how do you work through them? The funny thing is, I I mean, sometimes I get a little nervous, but usually I don't get nervous backstage. Usually, like, inside, I keep it inside, but sometimes, like, I get excited and nervous at the same time. But, like, it doesn't, like, stop me. I just get a little bit, like okay, there's, like, about 100 people in the audience. How do I... Especially at, like, four and a half. But, like, yes. um... I don't... I don't... Yeah, I don't really... Four and a half, I'm sure you've uh, never been in front of that many people before. 
never really uh freeze on stage though. But um I do get nervous, so. Well, they always say I've, I've, I've I had a previous interview once and he said, you know, if I'm not nervous that's when I know I just don't care about it anymore. You know, you obviously yeah. have those little bit of nerves because you want it to be a really good performance. So yeah. some nerves is a good thing, right? As long as you can still go through them and you're not freezing on stage. Yeah. <laughs> so has there been any moments that maybe you've screwed up your lines on stage? What do you do when that happens? Uh, usually I just uh, keep going even if I, uh, if, even if I mess up on my lines and just like, keep going to th and think of like the next line and just make it all make sense pick it up on the spot that makes yeah. sense <laughs> oh uh, i think that's only happened like twice or three times maybe but uh i mean sometimes it happens especially when i'm doing rehearsal but on stage not as much mm, yeah yeah but with acting on screen i don't usually um mess up my lines because i kind of practice try to practice a lot before i do that good, um, good yeah. which is yeah which helps me a lot they say practice makes perfect so keep practicing <laughs> <laughs> and how are you finding like juggling schoolwork and actually wanting to you know really up your career as well um i homeschool so um Kinda i usually balances work it a bit keep better yeah, I, including um, including um, homework, I usually only work like five hours a day, maybe. Yep. Uh, it's like around there. Um, so I have time to do other things besides schoolwork. Mm. Well, that's good. Is, You've got to balance yeah. it And what's your plan and after the school? Is there like a college that you really, really want to go to that you want to get into? Um, I mean, I guess UCLA probably. I was looking into UCLA and also um, a little bit of USC, but more UCLA. Yeah. Usually I'd ask that to someone that's a bit older, but you're so mature. Come on, four and a half, you're an into the woods. Like, <laughs> I'm sure you've already thought about college. <laughs> So a lot of people probably remember you playing Kelly on the TV show SWAT in 2018 yeah. up until 2020 opposite your dad. How was that experience being on such a huge show? Were you nervous or was it kind of comforting having your dad there? At first, like, before I, like, went on screen, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Like, I had no idea what to expect, but, like, it actually, once I got there and once like I saw the process of everything, I got very comfortable uh, right. and it could allow me to relax and think of, like, um, think of my character more instead of like being nervous. Mm. Uh, I just got uh, very comfortable after like I kind of knew the set and I uh, knew who, like the people I'm doing the scene with. It, um, it was really nice and it kind of took pressure off a lot and uh ever since i think it was eight and a half and at eight and a half was in what uh how i don't know around eight and a half um i kind of um adjusted because mm. you'd been on um, set before as well like visiting your dad before or uh yeah i've been uh visiting yeah i've been visiting my dad like about uh oh I also I also yeah I did three other films uh one of them was Howl it um it was very nice because um I got to work with my dad and um it was kind of comforting to be around him and do scenes with him mm -hmm. I did that when I was eight, um, but when I was five, I also did um, No Stranger Pilgrims. That was my very first. Um, th that I'm was my very that? first film. Mm. I yeah, I honest, I honestly don't really remember so much of how I felt, but I I just remember being so excited to be on screen and yeah. um, <laughs> every actor's dream. Work, uh, yeah, <laughs> because. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I also did um, a movie with Walton. It was called Zinnia. Uh, Walton Goggins. Um, and it was Quentin Tarantino's. It was Quentin Tarantino's people, and um, I. It was like a short film, but I. Um, I think it was very um, nice. Uh, I kind of bonded with everybody um and uh, like you said with everything i kind of got used to like the setting and mm. um i had somebody to tell me when to come in and like it, it was just i think it's less uh stressful yeah and tarantino's was, people that's a really, great start <laughs> yeah it was really nice i did that when i was about like nine about nine yeah, you um, so much at such a young age. I just can't get over it. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. And with SWAT, thank how you. did you prepare for your role as Kelly? Did you chat to your dad a lot about dyslexia? Did you research it? I actually, um, I rehearsed with him um, because we kind of played off of each other in the scenes. But um, hmm. I actually have a little bit of dyslexia. Um, I it's gotten better over time but um I've I've like I have a hard time reading like in my head uh, I usually have to read out loud in order to be okay at it and yeah, then okay. um and then I just uh now I know when I was younger I'd refuse to do this but I would uh I'd uh, read the words and like uh, trace it with my finger just so like I can keep track. Mm. Um, but uh, I would rehearse uh, with my dad. I would usually go to like the coffee shop every day and I, for like maybe like two hours and I'd talk it out with him. I'd do like breakdowns and uh, just like rehearse it. And it, it uh, after like, I think, about like a few weeks of uh rehearsing it i kind of connected to the character and then after that i had to uh do it so by then i was kind of comfortable and i knew what i was preparing for mm. so what, but what, you, it, what it scene was did you kind of find the most challenging to film for swat because there were several scenes you were in um i think um the scene when I was in um, Black Betty with um, my dad, it was it was kind of like emotional, um, but I think uh, it took a little while to tap into uh, that. I that was the very first episode of SWAT I did. Mm. Um, yeah, it took a bit to tap into it uh, emotionally, and um, but my dad helped me and talked me through it. And I was able to um, tap into the character. Yeah, definitely. Well, you did a great job. Congratulations. Hopefully we see you pop up a little bit more. <laughs> and yeah. Even though you've already achieved so much just as a kid, what else can we expect from you in the future? Is there any, do you want to work behind the camera in the future or maybe write and produce your own project? Um, I actually, I've been writing a lot. I write movies, I write, uh, I write TV, kind of. I've wrote, uh, two episodes of a TV show, and I am working on writing a movie right now. Wow. So I, I, I write for the fun of it. That's so cool. It's, Fingers crossed to end up <laughs> something happening with it. He's really, really good. He's really yeah. good. I've, they like I've read them. Comedy like, TV shows, or they're like on the genre of Twilight and um, yeah, Vampire Diaries, and yeah. Um, yeah. kind of like a mix, a mixture of her own thing. Like she's got all these kind of it's in that genre thing, but she's got her own, you know, mindset, characters, voices, and everything like that. And I re I read it the first time, and I remember being blown away because it was like exactly the length of what a real script would be for a tv show and it all made sense and it all connected to the end in I the think end it was like 53 pages to like 58 pages for like uh one episode but uh i've always kind of like been obsessed with like horror like i just love since she was a little girl she's like huge like, horror girl like, <laughs> i don't know but i'm sure she loves 
horror. Like, you love horror. Well, I don't mind it now, but I used to hate it. <laughs> you never like, get scared? I, I love <laughs> and, Um, no, actually, I just, I, I love it. I'm, I've been very uh, fascinated by it. Like, when you I was dissect the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. When I was three or four, and my first, like, movie that, like, I fell in love with, to be honest, I think was Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, uh... <laughs> I, 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 a bit more that for kids, was like, so that's good. I just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like, I, because I was like four, but um, it was nice because, uh, I mean, it was crazy because I um, I was very like in love with horror and I didn't even realize that till I was like seven, but like, I just was. Yeah. And then like, I finally got a realization of it and I was like, oh yeah, I, I love it, yeah. Well, I loved so Twilight and Vampire Diaries, so if you're... TV show ever gets made, I'll be watching it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with it. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and if there's any people watching today that might be around your age or even younger and just as much as they want to get into acting, they're thinking, nah, I'm too young. I'll wait till I'm older. What advice would you give to them? Um, I think you should follow your dreams. And if that's what you want to do, no matter how old you are, just work at it I think mm. yeah great advice thank you very uh, much Angelica so <laughs> yeah. that's good advice anyway <laughs> now should we play a game would you like to beat your dad okay okay <laughs> <laughs> Well, our game here on Rape It Up is called the Two Minute Hot Seat. And all you've got to do is I ask you questions and you just have to pick your preference. So it's like singing or dancing, dogs or cats. And you have to answer as okay. many questions in two minutes as possible. And then when we when we finish, we'll okay. see where you sit on the leaderboard up against everyone else. So if you want to beat your dad, he answered 46 questions and is sitting number 41 on the Rape It Up leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> so if you can answer more than 46... You beat him. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> He's like, no, don't beat me. <laughs> Let me get my stopwatch out. <laughs> this should be interesting. I haven't had a father daughter do it before, so this is this is fun. For <laughs> <laughs> our podcast, Kenny was blocking her ears. <laughs> Love that. All right. Are you ready, Angelica? Yes. Okay, I'll give you another extra 15 seconds like I did your dad, just because it's over Zoom, so there's a bit of delay. So, are you ready? Uh, okay, three, yeah. two, one. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. iPhone. Um, Apple or Android? <laughs> Apple. Rap or rock music? Rock music. Rock or pop? Pop. Pop or country? Country. Beach or mountains? Beach or pool? Pool. Sun or rain? Sun. Skiing, skiing or snowboarding? Yeah. Comedy or action? Wait, a comic. Blondes or brunettes? Uh, brunette. Sweet or salty? Salty. Sunglasses or hat? Sunglasses. SUV or convertible? SUV. Mac or PC? PC. PlayStation or Wii? PlayStation. A PlayStation. And clean or messy? <laughs> clean. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Italian or Chinese food? Chinese. Summer or winter? Summer. Kim Kardashian or Scarlett Johansson? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Johnny Depp or Will Smith? Johnny Depp. Mall or online shopping? Shopping. Cinema or home movie? Cinema. Ice cream or gelato? Cake or cookies? Cake. Cookies or cookie dough? Family or friends? Family. Christmas or your birthday? Birthday. Night or day? Night. Bus or train? Bus. Straight or curly hair? Curly. Okay. Eye colour blue or brown? Blue. Vampire or werewolf? Vampire. Texting or calling? 
Texting. Los Angeles or New York? LA. Friday or Saturday? Friday. TV or movies? Coffee or tea? Coffee. And we're out of time. <laughs> As soon as I asked Vampire or Werewolf, I was like, okay. yeah, I think I know the answer to this one. <laughs> <laughs> How many questions do you think you answered in that time? Uh, 48, probably, I think. So we think. I think. We think I'm you beat sure. your dad. <laughs> I think. You think. I'm not sure. So he answered 46 <laughs> questions. You have answered 41 questions, so we're just five questions short. Uh, I know. There was a bit uh, of delay, oh. though, so unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Kenny's happy, though. He's like, yes. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to beat me, actually. <laughs> I know. We'll just all have to do that in person uh, one day, I think, and hopefully it will be a, yeah. li a little bit more quicker. <laughs> Now, yeah. we are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview, Angelica, but before we go, if okay. our listeners would like to contact you, find out what you're up to in the future, where should they go? Are you on social media or should we follow your dad? Um, <laughs> probably my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Which is, I think, just Kenny Johnson on everything, isn't it, I think? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kenny I have no idea. <laughs> if it has a check sign, blue check sign, I think that's good. Yes, it does. It's, it's so one's like verified. I, yeah, I don't know. I think at the Kenny Johnson or um, at the Kenneth Johnson, I think for Instagram and and whatever, because yeah. she she likes to keep hers private. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. pop up on your dad's all the time, so oh. <laughs> it's a good way to keep updated. <laughs> And thank you so yeah. much for coming yeah. on the show, Angelica and, and Kenny. Thanks for keep popping in. You're awesome. <laughs> it was fun. Thank Guys. you so much. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's interview. If you'd like to check out any of our other interviews, visit our website, raveituptv.com. And remember, we also have our podcast on all podcasting platforms. Just type in Rave It Up. And if you haven't gotten our book, Knowing What I Know Now Yet, please do so. It's also on our website as paperback, ebook, and an audiobook version is coming very soon. We're just editing it up now, so it could be over the next few weeks. Very exciting. And if you want to support Rave It Up further, we really, really appreciate it if you would. Please go to patreon.com forward slash rave it up. For as little as $4 a month, you could be receiving a lot more behind the scenes and bonus content. So go check it out. We would really appreciate anything that you could give us to just keep Rave It Up going. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.